Hello, Disney Infinity Trainers. Welcome back to another character review here on iStarly TV, where we review all the new characters from Disney Infinity 3.0. And today is another big day. It's the first day of March, but that also means that the Zootopia characters have been released into Disney Infinity 3.0. And so now we have Nick Wilde here for a character review. He happily, well, maybe not happily, it took some convincing, but... He ended up agreeing to do this episode. Uh, we had to pay him a pretty large chunk of money, but, you know, gotta do what you gotta do for, for the character reviews. And we also have the Zootopia Power Disc Pack active here. We have the Zootopia Sky, which looks beautiful, and the Terrain Piece. We will be reviewing those in a separate episode, but for this episode, we're only focusing on Nick, as he would have it. So we're going to do a character skill tree walkthrough. So I'm going to show you his skill tree. I haven't invested anything in his skill tree just yet. And then we're going to take a look at some of his combos and what he can do in the game. Now, I will say first, I guess I should I should say this, that uh, this might have minor spoilers um, as far as it'll reveal what his moves are. I haven't even personally seen all of his moves yet, but there's a chance that there might be some plot details in there. I think usually Disney Infinity is good about uh, keeping out the plot details. Like for the Disney Infinity version of Rey, her skill tree doesn't really reveal anything about the movie. But, you know, just to be sure, just to be safe, if you really don't want absolutely anything spoiled, maybe be cautious with this video. So let's dive into that skill tree. Alright, so it looks like he has a good number of health boost options. Actually, he just has three. He also has a mid-air recovery and an athletic jump, as most of the 3.0 characters have. Either the 3.0 characters, either they can fly or they have some kind of an athletic jump or force jump. So that's good. He's pretty mobile. He's probably not very fast, but the fact that he can jump fairly high, I think, is pretty good. Um, they they kind of screwed up here. They, they, they're messing me up here. They're making it so that I have to unlock the team player in order to get to these two health boosts. That's not fair. <laughs> Uh, but as you can see, he has Helping Hand and Team Player upgrades, both of which are useful. Whoops, we're not supposed to see that just yet. Both of which are useful for team play when you're playing with friends online or even locally. But as you know with me and, and with iStarly TV, we don't play well with others. We have our Disney Infinity game series where the characters fight. So I'm not happy about having to invest in these team help upgrades. Um, I will go ahead and invest in... All of the health boosts here and the athletic jump. So I'll go ahead and see you when that's done. And here we are. All right. So that'll allow him to take some hits pretty well and also jump high and, and have mid-air recovery. Pretty, pretty simple stuff, but I guess pretty useful. Let's go on to the next section. This is his special ability. So his special ability is called a little friend. Nick calls on Finnick on a Finnick townsperson to fight at his side for a period of time. Now, personally, I've, I've only seen this before in videos. I don't know who Finnick is. I mean, obviously, I have not seen the movie yet, but um, Finnick looks cute at the very least. I, I don't know exactly who Finnick is, and I don't I don't consider this a spoiler. I mean, now we know there's someone in the movie named Finnick and that he's friends with Nick Wilde, but that's about it. So so Nick Wilde's special is, I guess, in a way kind of similar to Mickey's or even potentially Princess Leia's, where they summon a little townsperson that helps them fight. Um, so you can also boost the damage and the amount of time, no, the, the time that Finnick helps Nick. So you can, if you increase it twice, then he sticks around for a longer time. The little explosion things here are the damage, as we saw. You can also increase the number of times Nick can use this as well as the rate at which the special meter refills. So I'm honestly, I'm actually going to return to this after we've seen the other skill trees because I don't want to dump some skill points into this and then find something later on that I want to invest in. So we'll come back to this. But right now that looks pretty, pretty good. Next, we have the damage increase for his melee. And as you can see, as you probably saw, his melee actually uses a giant popsicle, which I guess has to do with the movie as well. Again, I have not seen the movie, so I don't know how that comes into play. But it's pretty funny to see a character with a gigantic popsicle just smacking villains around, smacking enemies around with a popsicle. It looks really cool. His, his 
melee skill tree is pretty bare bones he doesn't have a lot going on but you know he has damage increases he has no you don't which blocks an incoming attack um, you have to time it correctly a lot of characters have this type of ability um, he can also follow it up with an additional attack after he blocks um, he also has snack smack <laughs> love those puns there um, so if you delay the tap of his of his popsicle um, it deals more damage and it per executes a different combo so I like that Again, we will come back to this after we've visited his ranged attacks. Let's go ahead and check that out. All right, his ranged looks like it's got it going on. So you can increase the damage. You can allow him to charge it. You can reduce the time it takes to charge it a couple times. And then lastly, you can increase the size of the area impacted by his snack attack. attack. <laughs> it literally says that. So his ranged attack is also using that gigantic popsicle i guess he chucks it at the enemy kind of like Dieter chucked his stylus uh, go see our q a video if you want to learn about that <laughs> um so uh, this one's called take a licking wow these are pretty pretty fun names I i'm sure someone's job is to come up with the names of the attacks on these characters and that's literally got to be one of the best jobs in the world just coming up with the most goofy funny punny names um, you can, and, and, and that's got to be a lot of fun. At least for someone like me, that would be a lot of fun. All right, so now that we've seen it all, I guess we can decide how we want to invest in our Nick Fury character. Nick Fury, Nick Wild, I meant. And Nick will be participating in the Disney Infinity Games, but in Season 4, not in Season 3. All right, so, but I'm excited to see how he does. So I like his special. I mean, we definitely want to buy the special at the very least. And then I also want to increase the move upgrade or the, the yeah, the meter upgrade. So the rate at which it refills. So in order to get there, we need this and this. What else? I guess we'll increase the amount of time that Finnick comes in. So we'll go ahead and go up this branch. And then for the last three... By the way, I never invest in these at all unless I have to, but, you know, they, they can be useful, but I don't use power discs that much, so um, I usually avoid those. So let's go ahead and move on to uh, the next. I'll, I'll go ahead and invest in the melee and the ranged, and then, and then I'll come back here. All right, so I've actually been able to allocate all of his skill points, so he has zero remaining. Usually... I have like one straggling skill point remaining and I can't invest it in anything, which is kind of awkward, but I was able to allocate all of them. So I went full in on his ranged except for this damage upgrade. So I've been able to increase the damage, it looks like, three times, as well as increase the ability for him to charge it more quickly. And then lastly, what I've done is I've increased the blast radius. I felt like all of these would be useful and I'm glad to invest in them. For his damage, I basically invested in everything except for the back off attack. Now, I'm not so skilled with blocking and then following it up with an attack, so I felt like that's fine to ignore. And I wanted to increase in the damage at the very least so that he can be just full on damaging with that popsicle. That popsicle is very deadly. It's probably the most deadly popsicle in the world. And lastly, well, you saw me do this, but I've increased the amount of time that Phoenix sticks around. I've increased the one use of the special, and I've increased the rate at which it recharges. So that is our Nick Wild. And something that I found out just by kind of playing around with him here is that he seems like a really heavy hitter. He has this giant popsicle, which seems to act kind of like a club. And what it does is I think it slows the amount of time that he can attack, but it looks like it can deal a lot of a lot of damage. So like I said, it's pretty similar to like a club, like a character, like if you play RPGs and you have like a giant, maybe like an axe or something or a giant club, those weapons hit really hard, but they slow down your attack speed. And also this looks really awesome right here. Look, a glowing popsicle that explodes. How how awesome is that it, i didn't know that that's exactly what disney infinity needed okay well i've set up a, a little mini kind of enemy spawning here just so we can test his skills in combat so let's go ahead and do that and i fittingly chose the rhino guards because they're they kind of look like they would be in a zootopia movie so all right they're they're kind of getting the better of me right now but let's go ahead and see look at that that's a almost a three hit kill <clears throat> maybe a four it is a four hit kill but the three hits basically deal enough to kill. And they're not dropping much of any experience points. Not that it, not that I need them now that I'm at level 20, but... Boom! Yeah, that's pretty powerful. And he's barely taking any damage. Yeah, and he just 
kind of slices them up. Not slices them, he pounds them down with that. Let's try it again. Let's try some of the kind of timed combos. So let's go like that, and then you wait. Boom! Oh, that would have... I think that would have killed him if the other dude wouldn't have hit me. So, boom and... Boom! See, okay, they always interrupt it. So let's go ahead and let's see what Phoenix's all about. Cute. That's cute right there. Look at that. He has a popsicle too. Okay, dude, over here, over here. Okay, there you go. What? He's not doing anything. <laughs> uh, over there. Okay. Alright, he deals some damage, but I feel like I could just be dealing that damage myself. I don't... I don't know that I need Finnick. Boom! That's great. I love that. All right. Well, I don't know if you've if I've ever mentioned this. I don't think I have, but I really like foxes. It's actually probably my favorite animal. So I'm really excited for Nick Fury. Nick Fury, I need to stop that. I'm really excited for Nick Wild to be in Disney Infinity because he's a fox. He's the first fox we've ever seen in Disney Infinity. And he just seems like a really cool guy. I mean, Jason Bateman, come on. So Finnick, my verdict on Finnick is that he doesn't seem so necessary, but maybe I need to play with him more and see, uh, play test with him more and see. But Nick Wilde himself seems actually pretty powerful. That club, that giant popsicle, I like that. So before it gets any longer, that is my Nick Wilde character review and skill tree analysis. I hope you have enjoyed and I hope you'll go out and see the movie and pick up Nick Wilde for yourself. He's really a great character, and I could see him becoming one of my favorites. So thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time.